good thing. Drop for drop. Julie, take care. The world's been the most hot thing ever. And he's a world too. The coral is also a spectacularly beautiful snake. Its brilliant red, yellow, and black banding pattern is easily recognizable, and the well-known rhyme, red to yellow, kill a fellow, is a quick guide to tell it's a coral. Watch as the coral bites. You will see just a drop of straw-colored venom. This tiny amount is in fact a lethal dose. Just four or five milligrams is probably enough to kill an adult. The coral snake is closely related to the cobras, mambas, and sea snakes. A member of the Aladdin family, he has a small front Thick as his bag. And although unable to penetrate sneakers, shoes, or perhaps even thick pants, the coral is a capable biter when he chooses to be. Mm -hmm. Symptoms which include difficulty in swallowing, difficulty in speaking, droopy eyelids called ptosis, and eventually respiratory failure are sometimes delayed not setting in for hours after a bite. When they do set in, they can be rapid and dramatic. Antivenom is extremely important in treating coral snake bites. The Pfizer Corporation is once again producing a coral snake antivenom. In addition, a Mexican antivenom as well as several other foreign serums do seem to be effective in treating bites by the North American coral snakes. Coral snakes feed almost exclusively on other snakes in the small ground-dwelling lizards. Because it is difficult to obtain a steady food supply in the the coral snakes that have toxin are too fed very better, high protein diet. Watch as the tube is gently inserted and the diet will move to the snake's stomach. Well, the is that viper of the southeastern United States. This tank is found throughout the coastal plains from eastern Texas southeastern North Carolina, and is still common in many of these areas. It is full of relatives, the northern copperhead, broad-banded copperhead, Osage, and trans-Texas copperheads, can be found from West Texas, parts of the Rangers, up the Mississippi River Valley, and over a large part of the Appalachian Mountain chain. The snakes you see today are all southern copperheads. Copperhead bites, although almost never fatal, are still involved in swelling, significant pain, nausea, and sometimes tissue destruction. Antivenom is only used sometimes in copperhead venom patients. Oh well, oh well. Kill skin, you think? Southern copperhead uses a venom long sought after by researchers. This venom contains a protein called contortrostatin. Contortrostatin inhibits platelet aggregation and cellular adhesion. These properties have taken this protein into a variety of cancer research. Oh well, oh well. Different, different cuisine. Watch as the snake is gently captured. You'll see a small amount of venom fall along the interior of the glass. It takes literally thousands of venom extractions 
to reduce unreasonable amounts of animal. Yes, both of you. Turn to his main enclosure, fed, and left alone for 14 days until his next venom extraction cycle. Eastern Diamondback's favorite. 
Diamondbacks feed exclusively on warm-blooded prey, with rabbits, rats, and squirrels all being normal parts of an adult's diet. The Eastern Diamondback is capable of injecting huge amounts of a very toxic venom. Mm -hmm. A serious bite by this snake to an adult, or even worse, to a child, can rapidly be faced if not treated promptly and properly with any venom. The Reptile Discovery Center and the Toxin Venom Laboratory work closely with one or two other institutions providing this venom for the Antivenom Project in North America. Diamondback rattlesnakes are delicate captives. Extreme care is taken in handling these snakes both for safety and to ensure a supply of venom for an antiserum. And toxin is always in the Spine the the Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I Ik heb een kort gegeven. 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 Ik heb Sometimes, as low well as 10 to 20 milligrams of cover venom is a lethal dose for an adult. As you watch the monocle cover bite, they are routinely producing mm -hmm. over 100 milligrams of venom during a single extraction. Mm -hmm. Cover venom is rich in a host of proteins and toxins which have varied uses in biochemical research. Monocle cover venom is used not only to make antivenom, but it's currently being used in viral research, or in the transplant work, neuromuscular chemistry, and the list goes on. Most cobras make long-lived hearty cats. Ja, ik heb het gemaakt, hè? Die die hebt de kabel, hè? Ah ja, niet veel mag zien, toch? Ja. 